chosen to test this station's destructive power on your home planet of Orbit. What? Then name the system Orbit. Loki religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good flight. Sparks are coming up on Alderaan. You may fire when ready. Welcome to the Explosion Network's Countdown to the Last Jedi Star Wars Podcast Episode 2. Once again, joined by Kieran and Ashley, this time live from Shepparton. Shepparton. <laughs> Shepparton. Uh, it sounds like a Star Wars world. Yeah. It does actually sound yeah, like it. Yeah, it's the one of cows. Lord Vader, we need to destroy Shepparton. <laughs> and then we could call this pod Shepparton Explosion. Um, We're not changing the name for one episode. No. Well, I, I, too late. I've already gotten onto iTunes. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works or not. I don't not. think that works at all. I've already told him. I said, hey, man. Change nope. Uh, not it. No, um, you, that definitely is not how it works. <laughs> there, the, it's way too many steps for that to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> um, if this is the second, the first episode you're listening to is the second one, what we're doing on this podcast is each episode we are watching a certain number of things. Um, this week we are watching... Uh, Star Wars Attack of the Clones and a few specific <laughs> episodes of the Clone Wars and we're going to be talking about them. In the first episode we talked about The Phantom Menace and that was fun. You can go back and listen to that. We also talked about the Last Jedi trailer that was put, put out and we broke that down. Today's episode we'll be mostly talking about uh, episode 2 plus what happens in the Clone Wars a bit because we watched some Clone Wars episodes and a bit of a uh, few questions about Obi-Wan. Um, differences between him and Anakin and about how basically how Obi-Wan's um, a, a way better Jedi than Anakin ever was and how Anakin's spoiler alert shit he's a shit one um, alright so let's just jump into it with Attack of the Clones we watched together in the same room in Shepparton we kind of watched it to be fair most of us were doodling on laptops and game devices and Whatever else. That's how watching. people watch movies. That was only that was only during like you know certain scenes involving a love plot line. Yeah. 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 I kind of. Yeah. 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 Um, Attack of the Clones is my least favorite Star Wars. Movie. It's the only one of the prequels I won't even like. Really, kind of try to defend. It's the the I just I I, I really don't like it at all. There's there's parts that are cool that you can p- you pick apart like. Oh, it's the first movie we got Obi Wan, like Ewan McGregor, Obi Wan fully being human. It's like that's cool, that's great. And then it's also the first movie we got Hayden Christensen's. Like as soon as the movie starts, it's just him and his lines and his complaining. It's like ah, oh. as soon like as soon as the movie he's opens, kind of a bitch, isn't he? Yeah, it's just he's a whiny movie, bitch. As soon as the movie opens, it's just. Oh, Master, I haven't seen it. Oh, I got this thing. Oh, we'll do this. Master's not telling me how to... Oh, Obi-Wan's so mean to me all the time. Padme. It was that first scene. It was that first scene with Padme and Anakin alone where Anakin starts whinging and you're just like... Mm -hmm. Stop. Because that's what you want to do to a woman that you been pining after for yeah, 10 years. just start complaining a bunch. Yeah. Now, I can take the trials. I can do them. He doesn't think I'm going to do Let it. Let me do it. <laughs> Come on. Um, was there... Was this uh, for you the same as The Phantom Menace? I haven't watched it. I think I've watched this one for some reason more recently. Really? I feel like for some reason... <laughs> I feel like for some reason I always catch this on like free-to-air TV. Mm. Like I well, always they did put it on. It. They had it on like a week or two ago. Yeah, not it's not me. that recent, but within yeah, I don't know. Some yeah, I can't remember <laughs> seeing this in yeah, one go. <laughs> in one go, <laughs> yeah. really? Was it a struggle yesterday? Then it was a struggle. It really? It was a struggle to get through. <laughs> At what point was you like, "Fuck this shit"? Oh, like halfway. I think we we're still pretty. <laughs> 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 to be fair, we were still pretty. I was still pretty tired from this weekend. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, this it's movie's like, not helped me stay awake at really? all. No, it is not. <laughs> you know what? From looking back and trying to remember the movie from yesterday, there's this blank spot from like the point where Padme and Anakin got onto some shuttle to go back to um, Naboo. Naboo. I think there was a brief flash that I remember them going to Tatooine. Yeah. And then I remember all the Obi-Wan stuff. 
And then I don't remember anything for Anakin up until they go and get onto the... Where's the last planet that they go to? To save Obi-Wan. Oh, um... Whatever that... I mean, blank, no, yeah, 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 whatever that place is. I can remember, and I'm like, there's a lot of blank spots where I just was playing Mario. So this should be, <laughs> <laughs> this should be a good podcast. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a realistic podcast where if we all watch... A movie and it's boring. Then you just zone out parts. I mean, I zoned out all the parts where they were on the the mystery moon date as well. And I watched this movie two years ago, and I did the exact same thing. And the last time I did it before then was I was at a friend's place, and I was like, "Let's start. Let's marathon." It was when the Blu-ray came out. When the Blu-ray release, the first Blu-ray, came out. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. I brought the collection, yes. and I was like, "Cool, we're gonna do a marathon down at my friend's place." And got for episode one fine, and I was like fuck this episode two shit and I opened a bottle of Jack Daniels and I drank like three quarters of it and I passed out before the end of the movie on the floor <laughs> but did you get up in time for episode three or, the, or was that the end of the marathon oh that was the end of the marathon I was done <laughs> <laughs> I was dead uh, yeah. I was like look what you did to me Annie 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 um, so what is there anything anyone likes about this movie? Because at least with the Phantom Menace was like, oh, this was bad, this was the good, this is the bad. Like, is there anything like uh, apart from Obi Wan, or is it just like no? It's Obi Wan's Obi-Wan. the only stuff we care about. Obi Wan, the Jedi Council stuff's good. Yeah. There's not heaps of it, but you yeah. see more Jedi. Get more uh, Mace Windu. Get more, get more Mace Windu. Um, I think I paid attention to a lot more of like the minor stuff with Count Dooku that I didn't realize. Like mm. I didn't. I don't think it clicked until yesterday that Count Dooku has a different name that the yeah. Emperor calls him. Uh, Lord Darth, Darth, Darth Tyrannus. Tyrannus, yeah. That's Which a, is his I, actual Darth yeah, name. Yeah, his Sith name. And that was confused. That's I only picked that up for the first time yesterday. Yeah. Um, I think everything else was kind of... Count Dooku's good in this. And uh, he just gets some crappy lines and stuff. Like, even when he gets to the Yoda battle... And then you do the whole weird force battle. And then he's like, we cannot decide the winner with the power of the force. We will have to do a lightsaber duel or something along those lines. It's like, oh, wow, the corniness of all that was just too much for me to handle. But uh, Count Dooku... He tried to squash him with stuff the same way several times. Yeah, and it's just the way they film it all. It's just like a couple of rocks flying out. But they make him act like it's the... The heaviest whole mountain thing. coming down. Yeah, the whole mountain. It's just a really confusing scene. I don't <laughs> I don't know. We get um the so this the apart from the setup for the Clone Wars, obviously, because the, the Clone Wars starts in this, this is also the movie where you get the first look at the uh Death Star, like where that yes. or- originates from. Yep. How does that make sense? That's what Kieran was desperate to ask yesterday. I was desperate. Which. There were so many times watching this, watching this in the same room as these two this time, which we didn't do for Phantom Menace, was so frustrating because I kept going to ask questions and then I was like, and then remembered, wait, no, this will be good content. Blah blah blah. blah. This might be good. Content. This might be good content. This might. I should save this all for podcast. So my question was, yeah, I thought um, Jin Erso's dad designed the Death Star, right? No. No. Not at all. Like he, he designed the, the weapon. He he was. Oh. A, uh, he designed the. Right. His whole thing was working on kyber crystals, and basically he created the laser beam part of the Death Star. Right. Okay, the that Death, makes sense. The original Death Star was um, made by the. I'm fucking mental blending on the planet's name so hard, but I can remember like the make the 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 dude who creates it's like. Look, plug or peg. It's like Lord Plague. It's the one that hands him the place. Yeah. Look, all those bugs on that planet. Um, Genosis. That is the planet's names, and they're called yeah. Genosians. Thank you, yeah. everyone. Yeah, so, uh, what, so they just yeah. want a big ship so they could, like, like it's a resort or something, and then Darth Vader went, oh, you know what? We should put a giant weapon in this. Because it already had for- the hole in it for the weapon. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they were just designing like, it. They couldn't work out It was going to be thing. a pool. Yeah. It yeah. was probably, like, you know. So the they had the stuff. plans for this weapon, and then they hold on to those plans for another three three or three, maybe nearly four years before they start actually working on them because they don't start working on it until the end of the Clone Wars ends. That's why uh, we'll talk about it more, I suppose, next week. But 
Um, at but the wh- end of I'm, next why year. Why does he need that weapon? Why does he need what the Death Star? Because yeah. it's just a big fuck off weapon. <laughs> if you're if you're a dude who's like <laughs> I like killing stuff and power, and you see a a plans for a, a giant planet killing weapon that's like way bigger than most ships and can has hyperdrive built into it and all this, there's no way you don't go. I would like that. That sounds like a even, fun. Even if you think about it, when you're trying to build an empire that's going to control the universe, and you know, if one pla- if a planet decides to rebel against you, what's what's easier? Either you send all your your soldiers down, you get into a war with them, you eventually do something that wins the war, you, or you blow them up, or you just blow the whole yeah, planet up without enough. them being able to retaliate. Yeah, that's fair. Yep, yep. That's basically it. Just yeah. Like yeah. Bang. So yeah, I think everyone. That's another thing. Like the whole Death Star plans, everyone gets so confused, especially after Rogue One. It was like I saw this online so much. It was like, so he created the Death Star. It's like no, he's the, he's the weapons thing. It's he just put the cherry on top. He put the cherry on top. That's the part they couldn't they couldn't break. So everyone's like, oh, why did it take him so long to like have the Death Star built? Blah blah blah. Because there's like 18 years between episodes uh, three and four and stuff like that. It's not just that it took, obviously, it'll take a couple of years to work on it, but they, when Krennic comes back to find uh, Galen Erso at the start of Rogue One, he literally says, like, work has been stalled because they can't continue without him. Like, they couldn't continue working on the, the yeah. laser beam without him. That's the That was the whole thing. It's like, without him, we've got a giant shell. We've got a ship. We've got a big fuck-off circular ship, but uh, there's not much I else will we say, it's, it's pretty impressive that they can build a planet-sized ship in, like, 18 years. Yeah. Not a bad effort. It's pretty... The power of the Empire. Clones. Yep. Slave Soldiers. labor. Yep. Yep. Bloody clones. Bloody clones. Bloody clones. Uh, who, can you actually explain to me? Yeah. Who was the Jedi that ordered all the clones? What's all that? Darth Sidious. Oh, it is Darth Sidious went and did it. Yeah. Okay. Died. Quotation well, marks. So, ready, oh, so ready, wait. Darth, okay. Ready, listen to this. Darth Sidious. Darth, and they say, Lord Sifo, whatever. That, that's his like, name. Yeah. They're, like, they're like, Jedi Sifo Dias came here to see us. Sifo Dias. Lord Sidious. Right. <laughs> yeah. Was, it, but they, but was he an actual Jedi before? Was Palpatine a Jedi? Yeah. No. No. No, he had someone else go with him, but I think they retconned it or something. But, but so... There was actually another Jedi that went there with him, but he's dead. No, but the thing is, so when they said, you know, Jedi Knight, you know, Sifo Dyas or whatever, or these clones, why didn't they go, wait, there's nobody of that name? Who didn't? Like... The people ordering? No, 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 order. like, like Yoda. Where's the or, money coming from? Yoda or paid? Obi-Wan or... I don't know how they're going. Maybe they paid actually. up front. Yeah, but Would like he, Yoda, wouldn't Yoda? Know? So they, I mean, they did it years and years ago. They the records were presumably wiped by Count Dooku when he was a Jedi. Wasn't it like, like ten shit, or fifteen planet. years ago? Yeah. So and Count Dooku was a Jedi. Yeah, and it, then like he was still going bad or whatever. So he wiped them. So what? this is about the time of Episode One. Yeah, this is all happening around Episode One time. What What, what I'm asking though is like. Why didn't? Why wasn't there more of a problem of who the hell ordered all these clients? Uh, why didn't they do background checks? Yeah, because no, 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 not from the not from the people making the clone side of it, but like the Jedi Council, it didn't. It was just like, oh, we got we got a whole bunch of clones. Oh uh, no, Yoda wanted like that was Yoda's like all dodgy about it, and Windu was all dodgy on about it. But then it's, uh, I think it was like a matter of. We need them now. Like the war started, blah blah blah, and it was just like, well, kick a kick a gift horse in the mouth, or use them to save the Jedi, whatever. You know, it's yeah. just like, hmm. do we really have time to worry about exactly where these came from? Yeah, um, not really, because a war just broke out. So they're like, well, no. Yoda brings them in, saves everyone's life. Someone right comes there. and drops a bunch of guns on your doorstep. When you're about to, yeah, okay, fair enough. You know, fair enough. Questions. That's, yeah. a, that's a fair enough. They point. should have asked questions that would have solved everything. But look, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of plot points in these movies that you just like. If somebody had just listened, not decided to do what they wanted, oh, just like, once saw, saw the signs, just did did what you were told. You know, Qui Gon Jinn. If you were told, just listened that you could not train Anakin and it was a bad idea. 
would have been fine. But then who would have blown up the star station at the end of episode one? They could who, have found a way. Who, who would have done no, no, that no, pod but racing? But that's post- who would have done that no, pod but racing? All that stuff happens... Um... Yeah, that happens after he's told not to train him. Oh, uh, is it? Okay. Well, <laughs> you know. Well, why doesn't Yoda then, after Qui-Gon dies, just be like, Hey, everyone, don't train this douche. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Yeah, Yoda. Like Yoda's that. the real villain, is what you're saying. <laughs> no, it's just there's some there's some minor things that you just if if they just listen for once, like as when we're watching it's Clone Wars, rules. when we're watching the Clone Wars animated series, we'll get, we'll get onto what we watch in a minute or later. Every episode had a main character not doing as they were told. Was literally. Like they'd be told, no, don't do that, and they would be like, that. Nah, fuck. That's it. pretty much the human race as well, though. To be yeah, fair. but you know, they're not humans. So they you always be... do what you're told, Kieran. No, but exactly. this one, no, but the whole movie series was a series of people not doing what they were told. <laughs> like it's just a whole, it's just a continuation of people not doing what they were told. If one of them did what they were told, it would probably help a lot. This description of Star Wars. Yeah. A bunch of movies He's about people doing do, not what, doing doing what them they're them not told. Exactly. <laughs> that is what Star Wars is. <laughs> I've never heard it described as such a thing before. But but it makes sense. But, but, yeah, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Makes sense. I mean, you're not wrong. Hey, Anakin, don't go to the dark side. What does he <laughs> do? He I goes to the dark side. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite that, that easy. Right. Do you have any more questions relating yes. to Attack of the Clones? How did Anakin and the Chancellor become such buddy buddies? Because they were talking like they were friends and he's going to be the best Jedi ever. Uh, they just basically supposed to hint at... Like how at the end of episode one, Palpatine like looks at him like... Da, 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 da. Like, he knows he's yeah. a powerful... He, he knows about his midichlorian count, presumably, and like knows he's this really powerful going to be Jedi. And then he just starts... He starts moulding him towards Vader like over the years, slowly, slowly, slowly. Even in the... So they put out like comics, a comic series last year that was uh, set between episodes one and two where Annie, Anakin and Obi-Wan just go off on an adventure. And they had like cut-in scenes in that comic too, like with Palpatine just talking to Anakin like, hey, yeah, no, they hold you back, man. Like they, you should get more missions. Like, I don't know. Like everyone's just holding you back. Like that's all he's doing. He's just slowly like fucking with his mind over the years. Mm. Like, nah, yeah, no, nah, you should totally be able to do what you want. Like it's fine. Because then eventually it breaks him when, like, eventually Anakin in episode three comes asking for help for, to him because he's like, he's the only one who can help me. He, he's the only one who believed in me from the start because the whole time Palpatine's the only one being like, nah, you, yeah, you're so powerful. You can do, do what you want. Like, and the rest of the Jedi are like, you need to train more. You know, sensible stuff. But you got this other dude. Mm. Yeah. So that's how they get old buddy, buddy. And okay. it's just, oh, I remembered one of the questions you yelled out. Okay, Where's thank you. Answer? Thank you. That's good. What was that question? It was the um, how did the Jedi not figure out that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I did. How did the Jedi not figure out that the Chancellor is Darth Sidious? Because it's like it gets to a point where it's ridiculously obvious. The main building there, where the like they all hang out, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Jedi Temple connect on to... I don't know if that whole thing you'd call it Jedi Temple, but it's like the Jedi Temple's in it, but then they have like all those meeting rooms and like I swear politicians hang out there. So, anyway, that's all built on a, an old Sith Temple. Right. And the Jedi don't know this. Right. Mm-hmm. And because it's an old te- Sith thing, it's got like the, the Sith energies basically fucking with the Jedi, like their force capabilities for okay. the entire time they're there and they can never sense... That's why their powers weakened. And when was this revealed? Uh, a couple of years ago, I think. In what? A book. <laughs> it's always the answer is always going to be a book. It's going to be a book because somebody somebody asks a question and an author goes, "I better, I better." I'll come up with it. I better. I'll come up with that reasoning. It's, it's also a question most like normal Star Wars movie going audiences don't. Don't ask. Don't ask. Aren't going to be like, how could they never figure it out? It's like, you just accept that they he was yeah. a really good... Yeah. He's a Sith Lord. Like, he can hide what he was on about. They'll never figure yeah. it out. But no, they... It's it's a Sith temple underneath. So it, I mean, it makes sense. The best thing about all the retcons they do, um, have done recently, especially... um, 
I was talking about before when I was talking about Clone Wars and Rebels and stuff when I was watching Clone Wars how they've retconned the old dude in Return of the Jedi to be Rex, um, the clone trooper, trooper, which is like, it's there's good retcons and there's bad retcons and all the retcons they do, I'm like, cool, that makes mm. sense. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, it was a Sith temple under there. I'm like, yeah, fair. Like that, that kind of, that, I can take that yeah. explanation. Sure, whatever. Yeah. It's like an old Republic era one. Got built upon. Didn't know about it. Whatever. I'm like, yeah, I can buy it. Fair enough. It's better than no, 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 no reason. Jedi's are just the most flawed. Like goddamn. Oh, they are fucking hopeless. They're That's, so like, terrible. Once you learn about like the, when you start thinking about the history and everything, like after the old Republic, basically. I mean, they're terrible. They really are absolutely yeah. terrible. And that's why I hope the Jedi Order ends in The Last Jedi. And that's what it means. Like, Luke is the last Jedi. And they don't try and build more Jedi. Jedi are fucking hopeless. And the Jedi... Because we don't have Sith, right? Kylo Ren's not Sith. Um, Snoke's presumably not a Sith. I'm pretty sure they already said he's not Sith. He's, you can still have Dark Lords or whatever. And you can have good energy people. It's like Ahsoka's not a Jedi anymore. She left the Jedi Order. Still powerful, still a good person, but it's just like, and the Jedi ideals are probably just as stupid as the, the yeah, Sith ones. Enough. Like a lot of their rules are very like. Pretty when good. you think about them, they're very similar to like hardcore, like Christian or something. Yeah. Yeah. Rules like very that kind of thing, and I'm always like, nah, that can't be. How can the thing like? Never have a girlfriend, never get attached to anyone. Like, you know, all that sort of stuff that kind of... I mean, that plays against Anakin. That's half the reason he ends up going to the dark side anyway. Yeah. It's because of all these rules and the Jedi stuff and all this. Don't get attached to, attached to anyone, all this bullshit. It's like, when you start thinking about a lot of the Jedi stuff, it's not it's not, it's not hot. It's not, it's not the greatest. Yeah. The greatest stuff. All right. Can we talk about the biggest problem with this movie? Okay. Why the hell does Padme fall in love with Anakin? Good question. I have no idea. <laughs> he is a whiny bitch. His big move is to tell her that he doesn't like sand and that she's soft and somehow that works. Then she murder- he tells her uh, that the, she's the, the murdered a bunch good. of sand people, including women and children. She's like, next scene. Oh, oh that's fine. Women love bad boys, Ash. <laughs> 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 and what's more bad boy than murdering women, children, men of Sam people? Everyone. Pretty badass. Yeah, you know? That's true. I He's got a motorcycle jacket. Hey, baby, I'm the Jedi's come with the matter. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> He's just, he just walks down the street like, hey, look at my rat's tail. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey. It's like, you're from Shepherd and Mate. <laughs> 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 it works so well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's probably true. Uh, let's talk about how we watched some Clone Wars. Uh, for a start, because this is the only time we're going to watch any Clone Wars episodes in this whole thing. Um, uh, y- you've watched, Kieran had watched a little bit of it. You, Ash. Did barely anything. Ash did barely watch anything. We watched like four or five episodes, whatever it was. Just overall thoughts on like Clone Wars, like voice acting, like the differences between seeing Anakin, Obi Wan, different voice actors, uh, the animation style, whatever. Just general Clone Wars thoughts, having never watched it. Anakin's better. Anakin is so, that's <laughs> I, Anakin is tenfold better. The voice actor, the way he's it's just the way he's written and acted. It's, it's just well, it's good. Like it's not bad. So. He's not a whiny bitch. No. Well, no. he still has some of those lines because they cu- they have to keep his character in line. Yeah. But it's like it doesn't happen every 10 seconds. And it's, in they general, don't the writing hit you over the head is with better. It. Hey? They don't hit you over the head with it. No. And when it happens... Actually, when it happens in the Clone Wars anime series, anytime it happened, I always remember thinking like, this kind... Like, if they wanted to tell the same, like, him being kind of... What do you want to call it? Like, the emo, like, uh, hate life stuff and that's how he ends mm. up on the dark side... It's like the way they do it in the Clone Wars is like always feels more realistic or not stupid. Like the things he'll start complaining about and like the lines. It's just like, the, I mean, it all comes just down to the writing and stuff. Then mm. it's just like the Clone Wars is written better than fucking Attack of the Clones. Yeah. Like in general, the whole series. It's so weird though, because George Lu- Lucas was so heavily involved with the Clone Wars. Like that was still him. Like he's still there. Like in is the it, office is it, every Do day. you reckon it's because of it was, as I asked the question, it was. Um, made after the release of Revenge of the Sith 
Do you think he took the the feedback on board from the completed prequel saga and then implemented that when creating Clone Wars? No, because there's still a heap of episodes that focus on Jar Jar. What? <laughs> there are episodes where Jar Jar is like one of the main characters. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we talk that. about how terrible that it was Jar Jar was in episode two as well? Yeah. And he set in motion everything. Sith Lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sith, Sith Lord. No. <laughs> Sith Lord. Let's start this. Um, Kieran, you've been, you've been, ta- you, you, you want to go watch all the Clone Wars now? Well, I started doing it this morning when yeah. we were just started here doing nothing. Yeah, that's true. Wake um, up this morning, like, I'm like, let's just put on random Clone like, <laughs> just start Clone Wars. I'm just like, start. I'm like, I was already, because I turned on my Netflix and I was already like four episodes into season one. Because I remember season one being a bit, yeah, eh, slow. Eh, all over the place. All over the place. Not great. And then because we watched episodes in, say, season two and two five. And five I think my biggest thing is that I really want to... My biggest thing is I want to see more Obi-Wan Anakin stuff that's written well. And I want to see more Ahsoka and Anakin stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Because that's really interesting. Like I'm interested in watching Rebels now as well um, and go through it. Um, And it's not like it's hard to watch. It's not, Mm -hmm. you know, I could probably chill out and play Switch while I do it or stuff. Like It's very um, consumable. Yeah, it's very easily consumed. So I'm excited to do it. Uh, I'm pumped. And it it does a lot of things. Like It's one of the reasons why I want to start reading the books as well. Because it introduces a lot more characters, a lot more worlds, a lot more... Like, it, it makes me... It answers questions, but then it gives me more questions. Like, for don't watch, I don't know. Is it ever explained? Is Obi-Wan not as great with harnessing the Force? Is that ever mentioned or something? Because he never seems to use the Force that often, and he never seems to be able to do it as easily as... Well, Anakin's the, you know, he's freaking midichlorian boy. He's the chosen one. He's the chosen one. He kind of, like... There's stuff that Anakin does with, like, a small flick of his hand, and Obi-Wan seems to struggle with some stuff. No, no, Obi-Wan uses the Force enough in the Clone Wars. Okay. From from memory, as far as I can tell. Okay, fair enough. It's just, um... I mean, if if he's, if Anakin's running around using it a lot more for stuff that is unnecessary, that's just because Anakin likes using the Force. Yeah, I guess. fair enough. Mm. Obi Wan doesn't. Yeah. Um, is is Obi Wan powerful in the Force? He becomes a Force ghost. So, well, yeah, that's like a, that's like a level three spell. Level three spell. I don't know. Well, that's <laughs> not what, strong at all. Level seven. Like level nine. Level ten's even higher. Fucking hell. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's powerful. Um, so the Clone Wars episodes we watched were a bunch of ones where um, I wanted to watch old episodes. Well, not old. Most episodes with uh, Satine Cruz or Duchess Satine, which is uh, the leader, or Duchess, whatever, of Mandalore. And she's introduced as uh, Obi-Wan's love interest, basically. Well, she's more than that. Like she has a whole arc and stuff like that. But, you know simple she's introduced and Obi-Wan never had a love interest and in anything you never heard obviously he never gets with anyone and as we were talking about before his Jedi aren't allowed to have attachments have friends (laughs) have attachments to anything not even little pets or anything like that but they introduced this character um, in the Clone Wars where it's very clear that they have history and their history was uh, close like they were very close they went on missions and all sorts of stuff like this and you watch through all the episodes and they have the ups downs and then eventually Darth Maul comes along and he kills her and it's this this it's one of these moments and that to me is like the, it's just like the ultimate difference between Anakin and and Obi-Wan to me is and why Obi-Wan's like such a good Jedi is the fact yeah. that he, the person he loves is killed in front of him by someone he hates who's already killed someone else he loved, which is another thing. It's like, the guy who killed my master, Qui-Gon Jinn, just killed the girl I, was, I loved in front of me. It's like, this fucking asshole's just killed two people. Uh, he never goes to the dark side, never freaks out, never like even has never even has that like close yelling rage moment, stuff like that. And then, years later, Obi-Wan kills... Mole, when Mole comes to find him on Tatooine in Rebels, 
And then he's not even like smitten about it. He's not like, fuck you. So glad you're dead. Like holds his dead body, talks to him, very calm, mm. blah, blah, blah. I mean, it is literally the complete opposite of Anakin. It is everything the opposite. Even of stuff Anakin. with like, and it was interesting. Probably a little side note. It's not directly about Obi Wan, but even like the. Interestingly enough, watching Darth Maul's character progression, even though I only saw f- like flashes of it um, throughout it, with like you know he had the moment he had the fight with Darth Sidious, and then um, that you can see him work it out that Obi Wan is was on Tatooine. Protecting someone as he works out, mm-hmm. and then he he asks the question like, "Is he the chosen one?" To um, Obi Wan, which is a very in Rebels, in Rebels, in case you haven't yeah. worked it out, yeah, in Rebels, he asks, "Is Luke the chosen one?" Like he has that realization as if you know Darth Maul wasn't wasn't totally bad, or he was a bit tired of the imbalance or something to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. It might have just been him being crazy. Well, he wants... No, Darth... Maul wanted to kill Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. That's his revenge. He also wanted revenge against the Sith, which is Palpatine, because they basically fucked his whole life up. Like, they t- So there's this whole storyline they do in Clone Wars where they actually explain what planet like Maul comes from and yeah. like they introduce his brother and all this. And it's this, uh, it's this planet where it's run by the, the women who like are witches... And the men are basically trained to be warriors, and uh, they like Palpatine went down there, presumably at some stage, and did what we see Count Dooku do in the show, which is Dooku goes down there to get Savage Press, which is Maul's brother, and it's just this whole like basically slave kind of just like hires him, picks him up, and he's like gets no choice about his life. So Maul would have had the same thing. We just got hand plucked. Come here, you're pretty powerful. Like you've survived these combat trials. No one's no one's killed you. Comes along, and then he, like, years later, after having been cut in half, surviving all this time, after his master never even tried to help him, then his master kills his brother in front of him, tortures him, blah blah blah, all this sort of stuff. So yeah, he wanted revenge against Palpatine as well, and of course, of course, Obi Wan wants revenge against Palpatine because. Well, he doesn't actually, but Maul would presume that he wants revenge. That's why he's like, the Chosen One will revenge us both. Avenge us both or whatever like that. Mm. Stuff like that. Um, the other big thing about Satine and Obi-Wan is that is where the the internet fan flurry of theories to do with Ray's grandparents come from. Whenever you see someone online be like, Ray's an o- uh, uh, Obi-Wan, it could be Obi-Wan, da 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 and for people who have watched Clone Wars don't really understand how that's possible. It's the, the theory is that Obi-Wan and Satine had it off at some stage during all the Clone Wars. They what? They had it off. You never heard that? Had it off? Do you mean hit it off? They had it off. Had it off? Had it off. They did did it? They did it? Had it off? They had it off. They did hit the dirty. Off. They knocked boots. That, that one's that knocking one. boots. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know. That okay. one you they know. They knocked lightsabers. You know. No. Based in the turkey? Oh, no, I hear it. that's probably too far. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the theory is that they are uh, that that would that's how Obi Wan ends up like being raised grandparents. Um, it's let's just go. Do you believe? Do you, do you believe this theory? Or would you believe this theory? Or would you like this theory to even be true? Or would you just hate it? If I'm you, open to this theory being. If true. Ray was a Obi, I, no, I'm a open one. to this theory being true. Um, I guess some uh, 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 a little part of it bugs me that everything in the universe is so closely connected all the time. Like there's you know um, the first like the original prequel was all about you know Luke running into Leia and turns out their family and yeah. this guy's their dad and and now is it going to turn out to you know, is another person that's already established in this universe then going to have another connection back into it? Like, it's not just... Mm-hmm. Um, maybe maybe Ray was immaculately concepted by the Force. God, yeah. Not another one of these! By the midi-chlorines. <laughs> that makes sense. No! What if... What if... What if uh, Kylo Ren's dad is not actually half... Oh. What if? Hound Solo. Could... That's, he could have been... 
conceived by the force as well. Conceived by the force. Conceived by the force. The force is just going around conceiving babies everywhere. No, no. God. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Anakin's hate for mm. hate for sand mm. was so strong that uh. it became another person. <laughs> And went out and had a kid. I don't know. I feel about no. it at all. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about it, Ash? I mean, yeah, I'm also open to it. I don't know how it fits into the storyline. Obviously, they never mention a like, child. So we expect this Satine to have had this baby without telling Obi-Wan and without uh-huh. anybody else knowing. Uh-huh. And this baby suddenly disappears uh-huh. while she's Duchess of Mandalore. Would it, would it have been a bit too on the nose if like there'd been a kid somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Would it have been a bit too on the nose if Satine had a child? Yeah. Probably. Probably? I mean, it's also... Or maybe one... she's not dead. Oh... No, she's dead. I mean, she... Yeah. The mole stabbed her right in the fucking body yeah. with her. That... The well, saber. well... He got cut in half. <laughs> he yeah, got cut in he, half. He only survived because his, his hate was so strong... He basically tapped into some dark love powers. Was, her love was so strong that she. Yeah, she well, the, the dark side is actually stronger. Like as much as the Jedi want to argue, the dark side gives you cool powers. Like let's just be real. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning out of your fingers, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Darth Sidious, he likes he likes that lightning. <laughs> yeah, he does like that lightning. It's great. I like he could stuff. do better things with this time other than shoot lightning. Yeah. Same with Count Dooku, he liked the lighting. Yeah, he liked the lighting too. Uh, it was interesting, you already could redirect that. Yeah, he's yeah, strong. Just, yeah. Strong. Strong in the thoughts I am. That's true. Oh. Um, I, I, I don't actually think this is a, um, like a thing they're going to do at all. Because but why did we watch everything? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I, I, <laughs> Oh dear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, Dylan was just looking for excuses. Dylan too. was just like, we want to watch Clone Wars. Yeah, I, I want to watch Wars. some Clone Wars. Um, I, like the th- I like the theory. Like, it's the only one that I'd, I'd actually believe at all. Out of all the wild connection, r- raise this person, raise this, raise fucking this, that, everything. This is the only one that I'd be okay with actually being a like possibility. Because like, eh. mm. it's not like directly related to Luke or something like that. Or oh, someone like too too directly related, and the only reason I even give it any breadth of listening to or thinking about it at all is because when Ray in Episode Seven goes like into Force Vision and stuff, you hear Obi Wan like say Ray, like so Obi Wan is in they they recut uh, Alan McGuinness uh, audio, so it sounds like to have him say Ray during Episode Seven. Oh, okay, yeah. Because mm-hmm. it was Ewan McGregor did a line as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Ewan, they also have Ewan McGregor say a line that's in there with him, but he doesn't say the Ray lines. Like it's it's like they both say it at the same time, don't they? Same. Yeah, I remember that yeah. line. So it's like, why is that? Why is it? He, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, is it just for shits and giggles? But then it's like they don't really do stuff for shits and giggles. No, so that's yeah. why this is the only theory. I'm like, but then when would he have said about? Ray? Hey, when would he had said Ray? Because he died before she was born. If he's like, because the Force Ghost, like, force yeah. ghost. He, could, he could be trying to speak to Did, her. Maybe he can Force Ghosts. Nope. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe that explains no. the immaculate conception. No, maybe. No, you know. nope. That is not how they work at all. <laughs> how do you know? know? It's just question we I, I don't like how you both said that exact same time the way he's looked at me. It was like just discovering sex. Like, <laughs> how do you know? How do you know that the Force Ghosts don't right, work? You're like right. You're right. I, I have, you're right. C- completely possible. <laughs> With <soul. laughs> We're gonna. The, oh God! Uh, uh, our house is being broken into. It's Force George Ghost. Lucas's people and Disney's people. We've worked it out. Force Ghosts. Please, they're just banging everybody. Please, no. Maybe they don't need to bang. Maybe they just rub women's bellies. Like, you know, just, just give just it a... What the f- fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they use their force powers they just, to... They just, like, force, like, lightning or force... It's like the Jedi's version of forced lightning. <laughs> this is all funny until you realise it's, like, sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. brought it down to the ground and you were all like, yeah, actually. Maybe, maybe, no, maybe the, they were willing. 
Okay, well, the, well yeah, they sure. they talk to the midichlorians inside the person. No, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like no. yeah, let's do it. No, don't feel. Let's have. Yeah. What feel. if it's Yoda's kid? No. Oh my yeah. God, please no. Yep, Yoda's force spot. Yoda probably had like a swinging seventies or something like that. You know, like well, he's he, very old. He is, but Ray doesn't look like a whatever Yoda is. Doesn't need to. Mm. <laughs> how, do we, how do we know when species mix? Yeah. How do we know what happens? Yeah, right. Uh, any, <laughs> was, any other uh, tidbits, questions, things you just picked up while watching uh, those Clone Wars episodes or our one Rebels, Rebels episode? Or Rebels in a bit episode because then I was like, hey guys, while we're here, let's go onto YouTube and watch the Soka vs. Vader battle because it's the best thing ever. Anything, anything pop up, any, any of that? No. Okay. Are we going to see Ahsoka in a movie? I was going to say, is no. Ahsoka going to be in a movie? No. Ever? No. Never. As much as I would love it, no. Never? No. Really? Got to find out if she's still alive, yeah. Well, they have one season of Rebels left to do it, I suppose. What if they do something else? There's this big-ass gap between six and seven. That right. could she be, would be that really could be, old by them. She could well. be, like what's the lifespan of the of that race? Of the Twi'leks. Is it Twi'leks? Yeah. Twi'leks. 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 I say it either Twi'leks. way. As we discussed last episode, Star Wars pronunciations. Whatever. Whatever. Place. Whatever. Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Sulu. I can see his face just like working that what how to say that incorrectly, like working it into incorrect sky worker. <laughs> um, Alright, so I was gonna talk about the one over over uh, interesting because I was like, well at the end of every episode we should make sure to cover anything that's uh, the last Jedi news or stuff like that. What if out. Count Dooku's No nope, <laughs> no not even a, at all, not even a thing. The only, the only new Last Jedi stuff that's uh, come out um, since the last episode was they put out uh, a picture of Laura Dern's character, uh, Vice... I'm making, I'm, I am looking at my phone to double check I get it correct. Vice Admiral at a million Holdo, which we'd seen before in one picture... And I, I was going to, I'm so, this changes one of my predictions, like before we get to episode, whatever, where we'll do like uh, predictions for episode seven and stuff like that. I would have been saying that episode eight, sorry. I mean like episode seven of, if you want, I can predict episode seven, like story beats, (laughs) story beats. I can predict it. Um, (laughs) It's like, it's like a new hope. Oh my fuck. Fuck off. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I would have been predicting that. Laura Dern's character was this a million holdo. I thought she was going to be the complete opposite of Leia, and that she was going to be like the 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 one still in that actual government that like hates Leia doing what she's in the Resistance. However, they put this character in the Leia book that came out like a month ago, Princess of Alderaan. They, these two actually have met, and. I'm so much more pumped for seeing this character now because I can just picture Laura Dern playing her so well. She's basically picture um, Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, yep, but as like a politician. So a crazy politician. Yeah, like she's she's this really weird character that wear, wear, wears like really colorful, over the top clothes. Like every time Leia pops into her, um, sees her in the book, she's like dyed her hair a different color. She like says really weird like stuff that sounds like you know she's reading poetry like at one stage Leia's like I think I understand how to like talk Holdo now she's like because she says stuff to her because she just says lots of weird stuff so Hmm. it's just this which is also a character that's interesting for the Star Wars universe in general let alone for a um, like high up um, politician position I guess but I can just picture Laura Dern playing her so well and I'm looking forward to it because I really like Laura Dern Lord, 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 that's the only picture, but none of the pictures they give, they've shown to this character, like give this away. Like the picture they put out, it's just her like talking to, um, that's her back. Grab back. Yeah. That's who we're talking about. Yeah. Pink hair, pink dress, all sorts of stuff. Just crazy. So, so crazy. Uh, what is, I mean, pink hairs in the, on the terms of what people consider normal colored hair, I suppose would be crazy. I don't know. In the future, in the, a long time ago. It yeah, I was about to say, maybe years and years ago, it was okay, a long time ago. In a yeah. galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Every time we talk about Star Wars today, Ash keeps saying maybe in the future, and I'm like, you gotta... Yeah. When Actually, you talk about Star Wars, anything you say, you say in past tense. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it happened a long time ago. It you know, the, the, b- the, the Battle of Endor movie. years ago? Yeah. Years ago, back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> you know? Yep. Get that shit right before the next uh, episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i got to train myself to Thank you. get it right. Okay, that's it. Well, that's all we've got for this episode of Alderaan Explosion this week. The... So what are we talking about next week, Don? <laughs> what do you mean? What are we talking about next week? What are we talking about next week? We're talking about episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Same thing we talk about every week. No, we talk about something different every week. Yeah, that's the oh. point of the podcast. We talk about a different movie and different stuff. But we each talk week. about Star Wars every week. Yeah, we talk about Star Wars each week. But like that's the same general. thing we talk every week. Okay. No, but it's like a separate part of each. But it's not. It's still Star Wars. It's still the same thing. Where can people find me? You know? People can find me in the cantina still. You took a second to I try did. and think of a different I Star did. Wars reference, but and then I was like, like <laughs> no, oh, no, no, I'm probably not in the, I'm not in the Mos Eisley Cantina though. I'm like, I'm like in Naboo where the okay. Gungans are, but yeah. the Gungans aren't there anymore because I killed them all. Um, Fucking hell. <laughs> or at Twitter at your boy Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> Ash <laughs> You can find me on Twitter At Ashley Hobley A-S-H-L-E-Y H-O-B-L-E-Y And not at the beach Not because I don't like sand But because I don't like the beach <laughs> He doesn't like the water On the beach you, I don't I just Yeah it, There's too much sun At the beach you, you can follow me on Twitter At Vivaladil V-I-V-A-L-A-D-I-L I also Not a big fan of the beach Because salt water Just like I get Affects my skin bad yeah, Is yeah, it coarse? A- yeah, it's coarse and gets all it's in the It's coarse and rough. Yeah. I don't like the feeling of it on just my body at all. It just no. feels hey, nasty. Hey, Dylan, do you want to go to dinner after this? Sure, we can go to dinner. I'm really attracted to you right now. Okay, why? Is like, it... you just, the way you, with words you've got about it being it's... rough. Thanks. And coarse and... Thanks. You have really oh, soft skin, Karen. Thank you. <gasps> can we get married? Okay. We're going to get married. Tune in, in next <laughs> week, tune in next Which week for our divorce <laughs> and when we'll be talking about Revenge of the Sith. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast on whatever service you're looking at it. There's all the services, iTunes. I don't know what all the ones. You just call them all the services, I think. All good podcasting all services. Good podca- all good co- podcasting all services. All good podcasting services. Go to iTunes, rate it five stars. Say, just write Porg in the, the review. That would be great. Thank you. Yeah, just write five stars, Porg. Yeah, five stars, Porg. That would be great. Don't forget to follow the Explosion Network on Twitter at Explosion Pod. And until another time keep on star warsing sure Man. we can lock that in keep forcing keep forcing <laughs> keep forcing get a real fucking log in log out lingo by the time we get to the last episode <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> hey listen here and here if you haven't heard the explosion network will be streaming for 24 hours and participating in extra life on november 4th raising money for the sick kids center for global child health Head on over to explosionnetwork.com slash extra life for all the details on how you can help us, including donating, giving us some ideas for challenges, or games you'd like to see us play. October 27th to 29th, apparently Pack Melbourne's happening, and I'm going to be there with Dylan, Ash, and Jono. So feel free to come say hey if you see us on the show floor. Then there's a disturbance in the force. On October 27th, we'll be launching a Star Wars podcast in the lead up to episode 8, The Last Jedi. Of course, our weekly shows will always continue. Pleasure Explosion Mondays, Platinum Explosions on Tuesdays, and Grandstand Gurus Thursdays. All at 12 p.m. Catch our live streams where I like to dwell during the evenings at twitch.tv slash explosion network and keep your targets locked on explosionnetwork.com for all our explosive content. Shout out to Ben. <laughs> See, but when they say they're taking over the world, if they're taking over a different country tonight, it's different. That is also like... Jar Jar could be the parent. He could be. I don't know. Have we ever heard Ray say Moi Moi? No, we haven't. No. Oh. Which I think rules it out. Oh. Thankfully. Shit. I don't think a Gungan could live on a desert planet for a long time. Don't they need water? Well, he could spit on himself. I'm just, I'm just going to stop. <laughs>